Righto, welcome back to the 40 channel. Exciting news, our power steering kit has finally arrived. I've got a bit to learn about this 40. This is the power steering kit that he sent me. Um, yeah, let's unpack it, check it out. Righto, how's that for fast unpacking? Now the guy that sent me this has done a fantastic job in able to support me with this, in uh, helping me out with all the photos of disassemble. So every single nut, bolt, he took off this and every bracket that came off, he took a photo of every single part and sent it through to me and made a little instruction manual for me to put this all back together. That's dedication. So he put his extra time into it, he's wrapped every single piece individually and sent it up to me. So, pretty stoked with this. I'll give you a quick overview of what we've got here and we'll look at putting some of the bits and pieces on after we clean it up. We might sandblast some of this stuff and um, give it a nice, fresh, clean bit of paint and make it all look nice and shiny. Break all this power steering down to its components so we can clean it all back up, paint it all, make it all look new, and then put it all back on. By heating up the outside here, hopefully it should expand the metal just a fraction and we should be able to separate these two shafts. It's a bit of a trick, you want to heat up the outside metal quicker than the inside metal, otherwise they'll both expand and lock on again. Took a bit of work, but we got it. So we can clean both these pieces up and then it'll be able to uh, move a lot freer than what it did. So we've got a power steering kit that was originally from Eureka four wheel drive down in Victoria somewhere. It's in really good condition, just needs a bit of a clean up, just cleaning it up, giving it all a bit of a paint job and uh, renewing it all so it looks nice and new and clean and shiny. Let's get this uh, Eureka power steering unit hooked up. So first we've got this uh, mounting block. Let's get the steering box up. There's nothing light about it, that's for sure. Righto, let's bolt it on. Now we can see what we have to modify. I think we have to modify maybe the battery box. Um, make sure everything else is gonna line up and be out of the way. Should be, fingers crossed. So I'm just using the black ceramic uh, brake paint. Not because it gets hot or anything like that. It just gives a really nice finish. I think it gives the nicest finish of uh, I've seen out of all the paints, especially if you're brushing it on like this. 
the reason I'm brushing it on is that um, I can ensure that nothing's going to get sprayed into the actual hydraulics keep it sort of safe and I can control exactly where the paint goes this way and I don't think it takes any more time than spending all the time in masking it all off and then spraying it as well so or much of a mushness I reckon right now that's pretty exciting I've got the body back on means I can continue to work on here and I can start to mock up where the steering shafts come through to the power steering work out how the battery box is going to work from there because the battery bracket sits here, our new power steering setup has a shaft that comes up through here, so the battery box will be in the way, and then up to the steering. So, what I'm going to do is just do a quick mock up of where that shaft runs and see what we need to do to modify the battery bracket. So, Now we'll just leave that fairly loose so we can see where it needs to sit. The bearing block on. Just nice and simple. That way we can uh, run the shaft through and see how everything else lines up. see how it looks. Right, eh, so from the power steering box, follow that shaft up onto our steering link here. We'll have to make a bit of a modification here, clean all this up, but this is just a template just to see how it all looks and see where it all fits. Right, now the best thing about this power steering kit, which is uh, from Eureka, I believe, the geometry is all spot on. If for some reason I don't like it, it's not working, whatever the reason is, I just pull it out and we go straight back to standard original Toyota if I want to go back that way. Nothing's been changed. How good is that? Now I can just use the chassis as a datum point from our two mounting holes for the battery bracket. Uh, measure up from the chassis, measure out from the hole, the mounting hole, and then we'll know exactly where to drill the hole straight through the battery box. Right, I've marked out where that hole needs to be drilled in the battery bracket. Clamp it down and make sure we get it nice and secure. Just drill our pilot hole first. One of these carbide hole saws. I'm a big fan of these. I wanted to make sure that I had this hole left here because that's uh, one of the brackets for the radiator. So we're able to retain that, which is good. Power steering. The shaft comes right up through this hole for the battery bracket. We've extended this hole at the back here. Right up into the plumber's block. So a bit of a modification to the battery bracket there. All right, so here's our steering column support bracket. Now on the back of it, we've got these nuts. We actually want to cut those nuts off so that we can mount our block, our bearing block, up nice and flush. That way we put a nut and bolt straight through and it'll bolt up nice and flush and you won't have this big giant air gap. So that way we can help seal off anything coming into the cab. We'll put our... Um, weather seal around here as well when we're finished so we'll fix that up and that can get ready to go back onto the car for the uh, power steering unit righto so jack's mum my wife's just brought down a package brought it down and handed it to us and 
She rolled her eyes again because we bought another package. I don't think she likes you wasting money. No. Mum's on a first name basis with the postman now. This is not wasting money. This is like going to a birthday party and having a pass a So there's only one person. It's a lonely birthday party. It's an isolation birthday party. <laughs> I know, to clean all this up. Power steering reservoir. Did you tell the viewers about this? The whole yeah. incident? So there is our power steering pump and bracket and idler for the 2H motor. The other one did come with a kit, but I thought that I should be able to get one of these and hook it all straight up to the 2H motor. Hopefully it'll make things easier. Okay. And what's this, Jack? That is the fuel line. The reason I had to get this one was because I was cleaning them all up with a uh, wire wheel on a grinder. And um, this one decided to get wrapped around the grinder and turned into a coil spring. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, we'll clean up, we'll clean all this stuff up and um, we'll see how it fits up against the motor. Righto, to fit my power steering pump up for this motor we'll use these two bolts here but this bracket here needs to be cut off because this is for a HJ47 power steering unit and I don't have that power steering unit I've got this power steering unit and it all lines up beautifully except for that bracket so normally you just have the uh, engine mount so we'll cut this off, it won't compromise anything, it's not going to worry anything and just get that out of the way. We can make up a new bracket from uh, this hole to pick up one of the holes at the back. So let's cut that out. Alright, so we're going to use some countersink screws. It'll be nice and flush when we sit the battery over it. Probably about 5 mil clearance. Action. So about uh, 47 mil. Just making up a bracket to attach the uh, rear power steering pump to the engine mount bracket. That way it's all solid and secure. And then that entire installation is done we can throw a belt on it then so 47 mil we'll try and make up something like that Righto, so we've finally come to the end of installing the power steering unit. So I've been filming this over a six week period in the background of everything else going on. So you may notice from the beginning of this to the end of this, we've got the tub on and it's painted. Last thing I need to do is fit the reservoir and I'll do that when I fit all the guards up. So that's a fairly basic thing to do. Righto, we've got the power steering kit from 12HTJ47. Uh, Mate, they are awesome. Check out their Instagram page, really helpful. We sent me through a stack of photos that I could follow through to mount all this up. But um, as you probably saw earlier in the clip, the, um, it came with the 2F power steering pump. And that was okay originally. I was going to mount it up here and make some brackets and line all the pulleys up and do that. But that left out the option for wanting to go do air conditioning later on. Now that's a luxury that I would like to have a bit later. So air conditioning is uh, next on my big wish list, so I'm saving up for that now. I'll tell you what, if you want air conditioning, you have to check out this kit. This kit is incredible. So as you know, a kit is extremely hard to come by, especially in good condition. Most of the ones you buy are from wreckers, people are cleaning them up and um, making them look pretty and putting them back in. But 12HTJ47 are offering a totally brand new, remanufactured, 
factory alike kit for you to buy. So check these, check this out. So this kit comes with not secondhand stuff, but all brand new factory looking and denso equipment. So it comes with a brand new knee freezer, evaporative, new controllers, all your brackets you need for the controllers. Uh, comes with condensers to suit your 40s. Comes with your TX valves, your pressure switches, and a whole wiring loom. So all you need to do is fold in the unit, mount a compressor, make a couple tabs to hold the condenser, and get the lines made to suit. So really, you could get this entire kit fitted up within a weekend. So, um, or in a day if you're really competent. So that's my next big saving purchase. Um, don't tell, don't tell mum, Alia, okay? Shh. <laughs> But this kit is, is sensational, so definitely recommend if you want air conditioning, not only is it going to make it comfortable to drive in summer, but it's also probably going to jack the value up of your cruiser for later on. So check out their Instagram page. If you don't have Instagram and you still want to get in contact with them, send me an email at 4045 uh, channel at gmail.com um, and I'll relay your information on to, to them and they'll get in contact with you. Righto guys, that's it. That's the power steering uh, video. It's been, like I said, a big, long, six week project. We finally got there in the end. Sorry, this video has been a little bit chopped and changed because it's been happening all in the background. You've seen lots of uh, outfit changes. I love this new jumper. This is from Cutler Constructions. Um, my brother-in-law, he's an incredible builder, does beautiful homes. Definitely go check out their Instagram page and uh, what they have to offer. Anyway guys, really appreciate your support. If you want to follow along, hit the bell. Make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment. Anyway, until next time, take care of yourselves. Today on Inspirations, we're going to check out Archie's HJ45. Archie's Cruiser sits on an 82 chassis with an 83 cab and an 86 75 series 2H motor and wiring loom. He's got these three vehicles and he's built up a vehicle that he's really happy with. Best of all, he's done it all from the comfort of his own shed. A bit like this one. Archie's story starts like this. Every morning, every afternoon, going to school, as he was driving, he'd be looking out into the paddock and you'd see this 40 series sitting there. For two years he looked at this 40 series sitting in the paddock and he thought to himself, one day, I want to grab that. With Archie's determination, by the time he turned 16, didn't let that dream pass him up. Archie had grown up on the farm, working on all the different farm utes, so he was already pretty competent as far as it went with mechanics and doing stuff up. Luckily for Archie, where the cruiser was being stored was a good friend. He was able to get the owner's phone number, get in contact with him, a bit of negotiation. Before he knew it, Archie had not one, but two, cruisers for the sweet price of $1,100. Archie was able to drive one home and pick the other one up a couple of hours away and so his project began. Archie started tearing down the tray and rebuilding a whole tray with custom made headboard, wood base and a full chassis strip and a respray. Later he began some bodywork and after further examination he found that the 82 cab was not up to standard. So he decided to tear down the 83 cab and start prepping that for paint, which had very minimal rust, making the job a lot quicker. Archie started prepping the rest of the panels, later realising that his 2H engine was not up to standard. So he bought a 75 series from another family friend, which had clapped out suspension, rusted panels, a shagged drive line, but a freshly rebuilt 2H mint condition 5 speed ready to bolt straight up. Soon after, rewiring it with a full 83 harness, he finally got it fired up and moving again. Archie had installed the entire cab with Car Builders Sound Deadening to help with the road noise and heat. He found some second-hand SS Commodore seats and built a custom bull bar and set up the tray. It's only the final touches that he's been waiting on now. His last minute parts such as shocks, a turbo, new wheels, a winch, a new exhaust. 
Archie really hopes to have this back on the road before his 18th birthday in September. He's pretty close to it now. So Archie's goal was to have a cruise that he liked with a few modern comforts to make it more enjoyable to drive on and off the road. While getting this build done, Archie was working two jobs and on top of that, building custom fire pits and dog boxes for people like you. All to help fund his project so he could get it on the road. Archie wants to give his dad a huge shout out down in Hamilton. He's been one of those essential workers helping with all the testing of coronavirus. So, Archie's dad, good on you mate. We really appreciate the work you're doing down there and get involved. Archie, great job on your cruiser so far. And mate, I really want to see photos of you in that on your 18th birthday. That would be awesome. Great inspiration, mate. You've been hooking in, getting involved, and building it to the way you want it, to your standards, all in your own back shed. Well done. If you guys want to follow Archie and make sure that he gets it done on his 18th birthday, check out his Instagram page. Give him some support. Continue to encourage him throughout his build. Righto, guys. Until next time, take care of yourselves.